Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So about October of last year I made a video explaining my experiences with Colmac and Dvorak. I thought I would uh, do an update video on that. Some some of you were interested in it. Uh, for those who don't know, again who haven't seen that video or anything, um, on January 1st of 2019 I decided uh, as a New Year's resolution that I was going to learn an alternative layout for my keyboard. Um, when I was working, uh, I work in the IT field, I was starting to notice some tiredness in my fingers and some pain in my wrists a little bit. Uh, I did have like a wrist rest and did everything properly as best as I could do. Um, in QWERTY, I was about 75 to 80, give or take. So I just wanted to learn something new. So I decided to learn Dvorak. And about November, uh, I think on the day of Thanksgiving, so that's uh, the end of November, I reached 70. Uh, I reached my QWERTY speed, which was about 70, 75. I reached on the day of... Um, of Thanksgiving which was pretty good but other people who had more time than I'd have could get to that within a month if not sooner than that could be more could be less depends on how much practice you put in so my goal so on my 2020s goal video I wanted to break a hundred uh, words per minute and I have done that several times this is my PB which is 104 um, and I did it on 10 fast fingers. Uh, just to show you guys a little bit where my... Okay, that's just a 10-word test. Um, but yeah, 101, I'm in the 90s. You're going to see a lot of 80s, high 80s, low 90s. So I did gain at least 25 more uh, words per minute by switching to Dvorak, which was awesome several videos. I think there was one done by Top Tens or the guy who does bio biographics. Uh, he does several channels, so I'm getting his channels mixed up. Uh, he says that, you know, you will see maybe an increase of uh, words per minute if you do switch to an alternative. He did Dvorak. Uh, but he says that experts say that if you do gain, it's going to be like 2 to 3%. And if you gained any more, then you weren't properly uh, touch typing, which I don't know about that. I think some people just have a natural talent and can actually, uh, if you're actually doing it properly, you can boost your, your speed even more. I was a proper touch typist under QWERTY, so I gained, again, 25 more words per minute. I am starting to increase my average, so it was in about the high 80s to low 90s. Um, now I'm in the mid 90s to upper 90s each test I take. Every now and then I go to the 100 or 100 even. My biggest issue that I have experienced is I always do my uh, test on my laptop and it's really weird um, because they're staggered, um, but I always transpose certain letters. I might, uh, I'll think about doing a test and maybe posting it, um, but I do transpose a lot of letters. So if, for an example, the word example, I might type it out E-X-A-M-P-E-L or something like that. So I transpose at least one or two letters which slows me down because I still correct myself. I usually do my typing tests like I would be typing at work or on a paper in school or something like that. So if I make a, an error, I correct it. But several people who are much better typists than me say don't correct on tests like that, on speed tests, because it's just going to slow you down, and it kind of does. So I've honestly been focusing more on my uh, accuracy. So as you can see, here's a 97% accuracy. 
here's a 98. I'm in still in the 90s, which is still pretty good. 98, 100% accuracy here, 93, which was low. Uh, 99, which was one of my better ones. But I have noticed, though, any time I broke 100, I was always in the low to mid 90s, which was pretty bad. Um, so I, I just need to work on my accuracy more. See, like 92 here. Um, so yeah. But with Colmac, I did start off in vanilla. So the stock standard Colmac uh, layout. It's okay. I could not get used to it. I've actually noticed... Uh, also, a co-worker of mine, he was learning Colmac alongside me. He noticed actually an increase in performance in QWERTY, which was interesting because I believe they only change 17 um, words, or excuse me, 17 letters from QWERTY to make Colmac, where I believe it's like 24 for Dvorak. So it's very... Colmac is very close to QWERTY, so if you're going to change and didn't want to go too far off with Dvorak, then you could go to Colmac. Now, Colmac has several different um, modifications. The most famous one is Mod DH. Um, I can show you what that kind of looks like. <clears throat> uh, Mac DH. So there is a GitHub page. I will put this in the description below. But if we do, uh, yeah, here we go. So here's what Colmac DH looks like. So what they do is they take the G. The G is actually up here and the B is down here. So they just take it and move it out. Um, let me see if I uh, compare here. Um, there's little graph on what they do uh, yeah so they just change so they take the middle rows and move them out because some people figure that the, the two middle keys so the G and I the H and the D I believe on Colmac gets uh, is too hard to reach or something like that. So they move them out and rearrange some other letters. I have tried that in the past, but I didn't like it. About three months ago, I believe, uh, for those who are subbed to my channel or have seen it, I bought myself a Ergodox. So it's an ortholinear uh, laptop or a keyboard that you can create any type of layout that you can think of. So I did consider doing just straight out Colmac, then I thought about DH, but they actually have something uh, even more, which is called uh, Colmac DHM. So what they do is the, the only difference between DH and DHM is they switch the K and the M. That's it. Everything else is the same. So this is what it kind of looks like on an ortholinear board. So like a Planky Z or the Ergodox, this is what it would look like. Uh, I have been doing this since for about three months. I can get to about 40 to 45 words per minute on that. Again, I do this at work and I'm finally reaching a point where I don't need to switch to Dvorak or QWERTY I do have those layers on my ergo docs um, but I'm getting to the point where I don't need that and I might just switch to the Colmac DHM layer um, certain things still trip me up like the D and the V here and getting the K and the H because I want to do M is where the H is usually so that kind of still throws me off a little bit but there's, yeah, I'm, I can type the passwords, the default passwords that I have to set just fine. I can log into my computer. I can create notes. 
uh, ticketing systems for my phone calls I get, stuff like that. Um, so I just want to show you briefly what mine it looks like. So here's my Dvorak layer. As you can see, that's pretty good. Um, the only thing that I used, uh, the negatives about the Dvorak is to do Control C, you can you have to do two hands. But with the Ergodox, I can make the C, V, and X, which is I use all the time. And I lock my computer, so that's just one key. And then I have to refresh a bunch of pages. So I've made that uh, a thing right there too. Here's the Colmec uh, DHM, which again is still still trying to learn. I'm not as fast um, with the Colmec. I'm about half of what Dvorak. So with the Dvorak on my Colmec, or uh, excuse me, on my Ergodox, is I can get to about 85. So I'm not completely back to where I was like on a standard keyboard. So my laptop, I can get to 190 pretty easily, but under my Ergodux, I'm still I still have a little issues with mostly the Q and the J. I'm still trying to get used to that ortholinear style, but it's definitely more than enough to to get by, especially for work. I can just type without really having to think. Um, just out of curiosity, if anyone really wanted to try my board, I do have a QWERTY layout for them who knows, knows how to touch type. I actually put this on because um, my work does a lot with the ergo, uh, Microsoft ergonomic keyboard, which it's like curved in a way. Um, and anytime I have to go and use one of those, I'm like a little, it looks like I'm a, person learning how to type for the first time. I don't know where anything is, so uh, every now and then I will switch to QWERTY. And then just recently I decided to learn something called Beakle, which I can go into as a um, on another thing, so I'm just learning how to do I started off learning how to do the alphabet, so it's really hard. It's definitely um, I feel like I'm beginning again um, but if any of you guys are interested in learning Dvorak or Colmec, Colmec DH, Workman, stuff like that, there's a website I'll lead, uh, put down in the description called DitchQWERTY.com. So you can learn Azerty, which I believe is for French, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's mostly in the, the French region for French keyboards. So it, it levels you up each time. So it just adds more of the keyboard until you can do all words. So you can do a Zerdy, Colmac, Colmac DH. DHM is the one that I use. Here's Dvorak. Left-handed, so you can do one-handed Dvorak. I'm surprised they don't have the right-handed Dvorak. Tarmac on this site I feel is a waste kinda because Tarmac teaches you vanilla Colmac but this site does that anyway and then you can learn workman or you can do a custom uh, there is something very similar um, there is a bug uh, with this website you can't scroll over to workman or custom under Firefox but it does work under Chrome um, but there's another workaround. I do have Colmac Academy. It has a drop-down menu here, and then you can just learn Workman right here. Here's the all words. Uh, Workman is supposed to be like uh, Colmac DH. Uh, you could choose, uh, pick and choose which one, and then here's the uh, create your own. So you can create your own uh, with each level if you want. So level one, two, three, four, five, six. So similar to this, you just have to add it. And then you, that's what I might do uh, with Beagle. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing, I was kind of surprised how fast I got to 100 um, words per minute. It only took me doing it for maybe 20 minutes a night after my kids went to bed. 
and I definitely annoyed my wife with all my typing but I think it's definitely well worth it it's one of those hobbies that you can have it doesn't cost you anything the only thing it costs is time and I think it's well worth the comfort uh, switching over to Dvorak um, but let me know which uh, keyboard layout you guys like um, hopefully you got something out of this I know some of you were curious so I am going to try to push my goal to before the end of the year get to at least 110 words per minute so I am I'm starting to work towards that goal hopefully I can do it before um, December 31st we'll see um, because I feel like I am reaching my limits, so there's only so fast that a person can type. Some people can type over 200 words per minute. Some people can type only 50, 60 words per minute with hard work, and then others can do like 100. So I might be on the tippy top because I am in uh, my late 30s, so I might be slowing down anyway. I'm not as, you know, flexible and stuff like that. So, but yeah, let me know which uh, keyboard uh, layout you guys use. Um, let me know if you think of anything else um, with that. But yeah, um, there is a site that I use mostly. It is typing uh, 10 fast fingers. And then there is another website uh, you can type with Type Racer which this one does uh, actual text, so it takes like a line from a show or a song or something like that. And then there is something called monkey type, where well, this one could be an entire own video, but it's very similar to it. So as right here, here's a uh, Colmac THM. So you can actually do the default um, or you can do, you could just try it. So Dvorak, Colmac, Turkish, Dvorak, right-handed, Azerdi, Norman, Workman, Hallmac. Yeah, there's a bunch of them here. So if you're curious if you wanted to do that. And then it's got a bunch of themes. And uh, there's a challenge where you can type for an hour. And then there's one for 12 hours, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty good words. I don't, I'm going to try to type in this more often. But yeah, that's the latest one. But I will put all these links down below. Um, sorry if this was a bit of a ramble, but hopefully I was pretty coherent. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys uh, got something out of this and have a good rest of the week. Bye.